Shabbat Shalom, L'chaim, L'chaim. This week's Torah portion is Achre Mot and Kedoshim. It again deals with the death of Aaron's two sons, with interpersonal laws between family members and spouses and whatnot. And it also deals with dietary laws. And what I wanted to begin with was just a little story. This happened back when I was in college, and my friend was taking this class on vampires. He took a lot of weird classes, like sorcery and magic, but he took this class on vampires. And one day, I went to go see what he was up to. He told me he was studying for a test. So I went in, I said, hey, like, how's it going? How's the studying coming? I'm like, oh, not bad. This stuff's pretty interesting. I'm like, yeah, what's it say? And he says, it's basically, it's just saying that Jews are vampires. You know, because they walk around dressed in all black and long coats and, you know, they, they're always very pale. And it's talking about Jews in Eastern Europe and whatnot. So I thought that was pretty funny. But um, the reason I bring that up is because in the portion this week it talks about blood. And it says that when you eat an animal, you must not consume the blood. And so I heard this from Rabbi Silver. And he, he was bringing it from the Lubavitcher Rebbe, who was saying that, what's the, what's the issue here? What's the question? Who just desires blood? What person is just like, you know, I'm just having a tough day. I just need a good, like, glass of blood. It's not a thing, you know? So I don't know why the Torah is coming specifically to tell me that you should not eat blood. It's not an issue that people will really have. And the other thing is that later in the book of Dvarim, it says that you should spill this blood on the floor, spill it to the earth. And so, the Lubavitcher Rebbe brings a beautiful teaching on this. He says that when it says not to consume blood, it's talking about blood in, in the sense of life force. How blood is the thing that keeps you alive. And it says in this week's Parsha that the life force is in the blood. And so what he's trying to say is that when the Torah says do not consume blood, it's really saying, do not take this life force. Do not take all this energy and all of these talents that God has given you and just use them for yourself. Do not consume them because you're really consuming yourself. And people do this. It's a very egotistical thing that you only focus on yourself and you only want to spend energy on yourself, not on others. And that's where it comes to say that you should spill it onto the earth. When it says spill it onto earth, it means spread it out, give it out to others. Go out and use your talents and use your energy, use your life force to help the world. And this is a very big idea, especially in this week's Torah portion, because it's talking about helping other peoples very often. And this is something we could all work on. How often do I spend more energy on myself than I do on others? And how am I going to change that? So, something to think about. I hope everyone has a great Shabbos. It should be peaceful. And please, God, I'll see you all very soon. Shabbat Shalom.